my name is Amarachi Obiano and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for being here. I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, travel, as well as talk about things I'm very passionate about. So if this is something you really like, then you should consider subscribing. If this isn't your first time, hey, welcome. If somehow you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for, tap that button below. So let's get into this video. So today I'm just going to be, you know, giving my opinion on a post I saw on the internet. Um, I would say one of the things that made me think and um, talk about it would be the weird response I got from or rather the comments I saw on the page that posted it. So I'm going to read it out, give my opinion as well as read out some of my Instagram uh, fam replies because I also put it up on my page and you know asked about their opinions and they also told me so I'll be reading that too okay so the lady wrote she is earning 800k at Abuja and he is earning 70k in Lagos after the wedding who will relocate somebody replied her and said she should relocate the man is the head then a girl replied and said she will have to relocate to Lagos. It shouldn't be about the money. It should be about the respect and the man's ego. Who knows? The woman might even get a better job of one million in that Lagos. That woman is not Misha. So from this lady's reply, I think she was trying to say that um, that woman is not me. Is that she would not even date somebody that is earning. 70k right but she's saying if you are in that situation as a lady you're supposed to be moving that is what she said but she's not going to be dating that guy though. um <laughs> it was really funny because most of the comments a lot of some people rather because I, I saw some reasonable comments some people were actually saying that the lady should move and all that and i just found that weird because i don't know where these two people live that's the guy that replied that girl and the lady that also replied i don't know where they live but i live in nigeria where things are getting very expensive things are really hard securing a job is not a joke talk more of a job of 800k i don't know where the two of them live i would have to go back and check for their location because I am very sure they are not in this Nigeria with me. Things are too hard right now for us to even be having this conversation. In fact, um, let me start off with the fact that it's even rare for you to see a girl that is earning that amount, getting married to a guy earning that amount. That is this topic for another day, but in this Nigeria, it's, it is rare. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's, it is just rare, that's all. Um, and if as a man you find yourself in that situation if you find a lady that is earning that amount of money and she is fine getting married to you and you're earning 70k why do you expect the woman to leave her job I don't like how culture has made the easiest things in life very complicated and it is really sad that I don't understand why people cannot question some certain things like I understand culture do you get I don't have a problem with everything culture has to say but I believe we also have our brains for a reason and um, when it comes to marriage especially you don't need anybody to tell you that every marriage is very unique people are handling their marriages the best way they can what would work for marriage a would never work for marriage b what is rocking marriage a's boat will sink marriage b's boat which means you need to recognize what is working for your own home and stick to it so if the woman is earning more you are earning 70k why would you want her to leave that job at first, when I read this question, I was like, oh, but if there's another branch in Lagos, she can always, you know, um, transfer. But for that question to be out there, 
they didn't i'm sure they had brewed out that part so we're just going to focus on it like there's no branch in abuja the person that should be moving at this point if anybody is to move is clearly the man because what will 70k do for you and your wife anybody earning 70k in this day and age is struggling nigeria is hard especially in lagos my god 70k in lagos even if you're in the island or the mainland or outskirts you are struggling because 70k is can barely do so much for you then you want to now get married you want you want to i'm not saying there is anything wrong with someone that's any 70k to want to get married no but in this case you are dating somebody you're dating to be married to someone that earns 800k and you will tell that person to leave that 800,000 naira job and come and manage 70k with you i feel like anybody that does that is just wicked and very heartless because what's even the sense in it that girl that her salary can actually pay you twice and she will be able to pay her tight and she will have enough money for herself 70k can barely do so much for you and your partner talk more of when you start having kids why are we having this conversation just because the man is the head of the house and the woman should throw that 800k out of the window she should throw it out of the window because he's the head of the house nothing else you don't have any other reason it doesn't make any sense to me if you're a lady and you ever find yourself in this situation i urge i beg you please don't do it don't do it if a man loves you he will let you keep your job people do it you can live in lagos and abuja and he will stay in lagos if he doesn't want to move if he feels like that is too much for him to do but keep your job because you're going to get frustrated when you move into lagos and you will start managing that 70k it's not even possible if you ever find yourself in that situation which i doubt anybody will find themselves in that situation the ladies in this nigeria are not going to do that but i'm just saying if you ever find yourself in that situation sis don't do it never never ever ever do it funny thing is that most of the guys i know if they were in this situation they'll carry their bag and move to abuja because it is easier to get a job in abuja that can pay you 70k or even 100k than here in lagos and abuja is better the, the, the food is cheap everything is cheap things are more affordable compared to lagos so imagine having to leave 800k and abuja and coming to lagos and 70k it's like moving from heaven to hellfire that is what it really is love is not going to put food on your table ego is not going to put food on your table because this thing even has less to do with culture than um and more to do with ego ego is not going to feed you and your wife and your children pride is not also going to do that it's money that is going to feed the two of you people. that love you people are loving you will need money to keep you alive because if hunger kills you two of you will not be alive to love each other so you need the money <laughs> you see this thing called pride and ego it has ruined people's relationships it has ruined people's chances of experiencing true love. It has ruined people's chances of getting money. It has ruined people's chances of living a better life. Because you have your ego and your pride stopping you and blocking you from so many blessings God has for you. When two human beings with sense are involved, this is not even going to be a topic. And see, do not let your ego and your pride stop you from taking or getting all the blessings god has for you we need to understand that our blessings can come from just anything it could be a family member it could be your partner it could be your woman even if it means you earning less now and you know if if you find yourself in that kind of situation like instead of seeing that as something that should be a threat to you see it as a blessing as long as you people do love and care about each other why is what culture said of the society a problem if your friends are going to laugh at you that's their business let them laugh at the end of the day you're happy aren't you you're making the right steps so please when making decisions especially when it comes to you and your partner think about the two of you people 
forget society, forget friends, please. Those ones, they are irrelevant. That's just my own opinion. So I'm going to share a few opinions I got from my Instagram family because I actually put up the post and asked for their opinions. So I'm going to read this first person's one. Um, he said money should moving sorry he said moving should be based not just on earnings also on future plans they have does his or her company have an office in the other states one can get a transfer three if there are no short or long-term plans and no option of transfer then he should move please he can earn 70k easily in abuja Money is important in marriage, let's not get it twisted. It's not ego, they use to feed family, it's money. So what this guy has really said is quite simple. I don't think I need to even, you know, talk about it. Basically, he's trying to say the man should be the one moving at the end of the day because he can always get himself a job in Abuja around that range. Ego, pride will not feed you. That's basically what he's saying. Um, then this is from another person, my friend, and she was like, LOL, it's the way people make a simple life so difficult for me. Whoever wants to relocate should relocate. If you don't if you don't care about money and she's always wanted to live in Lagos and feels with her CV, she would find a great job in Lagos. Fine. If you want to move to Abuja or feel her job in Abuja is great to sustain their family, then fine. But all this ego talk of she should move because she, she is the head of the house is boring and old, period. Life is expensive, school fees is expensive. If you don't want to live with her, both of you should get a brand new apartment together in Abuja so none feels inferior in their, in their space. Whatever that is to people because that too is crazy. But God help us defeat ego because it is the root of all evil, not even money. Exactly what I was trying to say. I don't even think this particular topic has to even do with culture. At this point, it is ego because, I mean, like, so many things have changed. When these rules were made, like, so many things were different and... I know each and every one of us realize that so if you are somebody that you know lets your ego get the best of you it is actually something you need to work on it is not a good thing to possess because trust me you're losing out on a lot of things okay so I decided to read this one from this lady who is also my Instagram friend because I feel like there are people who are fond of saying things like oh she's not she has not seen somebody she that wants to marry her if not she won't be speaking like this or um, she hasn't married that's why she's talking like this when you get to a certain age you will be old enough to make a lot of decisions especially when it comes to finances and when it comes to finances, there are some silly mistakes you won't find yourself making. In fact, there are some conversations you won't even find yourself having with somebody else. So I'm just going to read this. She is actually married and she said, She should not move. Oh. The guy should move. Love alone is not enough. They need mental, financial, emotional and physical stability. Her mental state will be fucked without her job. He will be able to get a job when he relocates and it might even pay more. Simple. So I feel like most of my, most people from my Instagram page, um, you know, share the same opinions with me. But if you share something different, feel free to please put it down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And I'm going to see you guys this time next week. Love you.